guys, welcome back to the video. I'm Shinichi. I'm Satoshi. And today we are here in Waikiki in Honolulu, Hawaii. On this video, we're going to show you five places to eat on a budget right here in Waikiki. Welcome back to another video, guys. Greetings from Waikiki in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now, everyone who comes to the island of Oahu knows Waikiki. This is where most of the hotels are and it's a pretty cool place to be. The only thing is that it's also very popular for being expensive, especially when it comes to meals. But if you look carefully, you will find some pretty reasonable places to eat. First place we want to introduce you to is a place called Steak Shack. It's located right on Fort de Russi Beach. It's a super popular place, so we do recommend coming before meal times. Avoid the peak hours because there's always a line here. And this is what we got, guys. This is the six ounce signature steak plate and it's only $12.95. The other two items on the menu is the chicken and the combo, but we just had to stick with the beef. So you got six ounces of cooked beef here. You can get it the way you want. We got it medium, and it comes with a green salad with dressing. It comes with a little sauce here for your steak, and underneath the steak, you will find a pile of steamed white rice. $12.85 for a steak plate in Waikiki is pretty much unheard of. So let's give this a try, guys. I'm gonna go right into the steak. I'm gonna try this without the sauce. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. That is good stuff. This is a pretty good steak, guys. The steak is pretty tender. It's not tough at all. It's seasoned just perfectly for me. It's just seasoned with salt and pepper. That's it. But that's all you need, really. You can go ahead and use the steak sauce, but for me, I prefer just the salt and pepper. Nice chocolate flavor, very juicy. And of course, because we're in Hawaii, you gotta have it with some rice. Mm. Thumbs up from me. Since Shinichi ate without sauce, I put sauce deep into this sauce. Mm. Looks like soy sauce base. Oh, beef is quite tender. Mm. Original flavor, the pepper and salt, it's already, already it's good, I know. But with this sauce, it's a sweetness, sweet soy sauce, like teriyaki sauce, and it's combined with this meat flavor really nicely. And this char grilled flavor is really nice. Yes, I love this flavor. This dressing is ranch dressing. You can choose from ranch dressing or Italian dressing. Mm. Mm, mm. The vegetables are very shakshaki, they are very fresh. And the dressing flavor is also really good. I love ranch dressing. You know what, I'm gonna try it with the sauce as well. Because when Satoshi ate it with the sauce, it looked really good. Mmm. Oh yeah. Actually, it's really good with the sauce too. It's like a very sweet teriyaki sauce. But it's not cloyingly sweet. It also has depth, lots of umami. It's a pretty good sauce. But look at this, guys. All this food, all this meat, like six ounces, perfect for one person, in my opinion. But for bigger appetites, they do have larger portions. Of course, you have to pay more, but they're still on the reasonable side. In Waikiki, the everything, every food, the price is double or triple than Tokyo. I'm very glad eating this very delicious beef steak bento with reasonable price. So okay. next we are going to go to Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center. Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center is located along Karakawa Street. It is a very long shopping arcade. Yes. And in that building, there are so many high-end shops such like Elmes, Tiffany's, and Ari Winston. Yeah, but there are two food courts here where you can get pretty reasonably priced meals. The one we're going to be going to today is on the third floor. It's kind of hidden away. One of the things I love about this shopping center is that it's beautifully landscaped and there are lots of places to sit down and just chill to enjoy all the beautiful landscaping. It's a really beautiful place. So next we came to Waikiki Food Hall located the third floor of Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center. In this food hall, there are a variety of shops, hamburger shop, garlic shrimp shop, ice cream shop. Today we bought Potama. 
It's a very popular rice dish from Okinawa, Japan. At this food hall, you order at the central register and pick up your food at each counter. My rice sandwich is spicy tuna corn salad. I've never eaten in Okinawa. This is new. I think this is a special of Hawaii. Itadakimasu. Hmm, it's spicy. They're using sriracha sauce, but same time, it has a sweetness of it's from mayonnaise and the swamp is really tasty. It's lightly grilled and matches with this omelette. Rice cooked perfectly, same as Okinawa. Mm, mm, mm. This is very good. This one is the katsu kombu, and this one comes with a grilled spam, tamagoyaki omelette, and kombu. And I think there's some katsu here as well, maybe some bonito flakes. By the way, guys, Pootamai is one of my favorite places in Okinawa. I have to go there on every visit. That's how much I love this place. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna be the judge to see if this is the same. I don't know what it is, but I love the rice sandwiches from Po. Oh my god, the combination of the grilled Spam, you know, the saltiness from the Spam with the delicately flavored egg omelette and the kombu, the seaweed, is simmered in like a sweet soy sauce so that gives it even more flavor. I don't really taste the katsuo though. Let me take one more bite. Hmm. Mm. There is a little bit of katsuo, I guess, but not so much. The katsuo flavor is very subtle. There's one difference, is the nori. The nori seaweed that they use to wrap the whole thing. I feel like the one they use in Okinawa is a higher quality nori seaweed. Yeah, but it's still good though. It's still good for $5. And like Satoshi said, $5 for a pretty substantial meal in a hand like this, is pretty worth it to me. Next place is located on Kuhio Avenue. We came to this place called Hula Dog and they serve these specialty hot dogs. Hula Dog is located in this super casual food truck area. There are like uh, five to six benches, picnic benches, where you can sit and relax and enjoy a meal. This is the Lili Koi lemonade. Lili Koi is passion fruit in Hawaiian. Cheers. Oh yes, oh that hits the spot. There's just enough sweetness with the taste of lily koi and the tartness of lemon. Oh, there's even like half a lemon in here. You can build your own hula dog, but we decided to go with their signature poi dog. And this is what it looks like. This is a uh, Polish sausage inside of taro bread, which is why the bread is um, purple. And then there's jalapeno garlic lemon sauce, as well as pineapple relish and Hawaiian mustard. Wow, I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Look how big that is. That is like a, a loaf of bread. That smells good though. Mmm. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Bread, relish, and mustard is delicious. My mouth's too small. I didn't get the sausage yet. Mmm. That's pretty good. Mmm. First of all, first thing I noticed is the juiciness of the Polish dog. The Polish dog is a beef and pork sausage. Very, very flavorful. The pineapple relish gives it a nice tartness, which I love. But the thing that stands out to me is the taro bread. It has like a really nice subtle sweetness to it, which I love. It's like Hawaiian sweet bread. I love lili koi. Every time I come to Hawaii, I drink lili koi drinks. Itadakimasu. Umar. Mm. The flavor mixture, bread, sausage, mustard, the combination is quite nice. I think the bread is very sweet. Um, the sausage is, of course, it's meaty and salt taste. Um, the mustard, sourness of mustard and radish, it works really good. Those flavors combined really nicely. By the way, guys, you can also get this in a vegetarian version. They have a veggie dog as well. Also, I also want to point out that this place was recommended by the late Anthony Bourdain. So you know it has to be good. 
All right, guys, so the next place is called You Kitchen. It's located in a food court that's kind of tucked away um, in a side alley. It's located on White Polo Way between Royal Hawaiian Avenue and Seaside Avenue. Because this place is super hidden away, it's never crowded. You can find ramen, Greek food, even Indian food. But our favorite place is You Kitchen, where you can get local style plate lunches. And this place also happens to be the most reasonably priced meals in this food court. So I got the chicken katsu. When I open, the first impression, it's wow. Yeah, it's this is actually one of the most popular dishes from this place. Mm -hmm. And I heard it's really good. It comes with a salad, the dressing, maybe it's ranch, mm -hmm. and pasta, tomato sauce pasta, it's penne, yes. and amount of rice. Right, and then I got their nori bento, which is available only until 12 noon, and it's $7.99, right? $7.99, mm -hmm. super reasonable. And, and also it's, wow. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it is incredible. Mm. So much food here, I can't believe it. Uh, this was not what I was expecting, guys. <laughs> so much food. Nori ben is pretty heavy. It's very too. popular bento in Japan. Yeah. But I've never seen this much nori ben. <laughs> no, 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 no. And then once again, this also comes with a side of uh, greens with a dressing and cold uh, penne pasta with tomato sauce. And um, what's, what's the topping? What's the ingredients? Okay. Yes. So that's mochiko chicken, that's a deep fried chikua fish cake. And I also see korokke, and I'm not sure what that is. It's I think that's deep fried fish. Fish, I think yeah. so. And then there's um, some kombu, seaweed, there's some um, tsukemono, pickled vegetables, and there's rice with a sheet of nori on top. So it is actually a nori ben. Yeah, it looks really like nori ben, Japanese yes. nori ben. Yes, mm. and it comes with a packet of soy sauce and tonkatsu sauce. For me, they gave us the tonkatsu sauce too. Right. Yeah, this is super exciting. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Chicken katsu. All right. So nice. I'm actually going to um, take a bite of my salad. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Looks very crispy. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's crispy. Mm. 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 Very fresh. Mm. Mm. Fresh greens. Mm. I like that they're not using iceberg lettuce. I'm, I don't really care for iceberg lettuce, mm. but this is nice. This chicken is very flavorful. Mm. Outside, really crispy, sakusakuto, and chicken tender. It has a good chicken flavor too. Mm -hmm. It's very clean chicken flavor. Mm. Clean chicken flavor. Yeah. Really? Mm. Well, this is ranch dressing, I think. Mm. I love ranch dressing. Something you can't find in Japan. <clears throat> I want to pour up sauce. Okay, I'm gonna try my mochiko chicken. What about you? You're gonna oh, you poured some sauce oh, over sauce, your yes. uh, katsu. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm. oh, this is good. Mm. 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 My mochiko chicken, you can taste the ginger, the soy sauce, a little bit of sweetness. That's perfect. With this tonkatsu sauce, mm. this bento, mm. uh, this plate lunch reminds me Japanese bento, chicken katsu bento. Yeah, this mochiko chicken reminds mm. me of a Japanese karage. Mm. It really does. It's very mm. similar to karage. Mm. Oh. And, and you know what's interesting is that this mochiko chicken is not warm, it's cold. Or room temperature, I should say. So it does remind me of a bento. Mm. On top of rice, mm. they sprinkle the furikake. Mmm, how very local. Your bento has a lot of ingredients. It toppings. does, <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna try the korokke. Okay. Mm. Penne. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Very nice. I think this is a vegetable korokke. Ooh. Yeah, there's potatoes and some carrots, like a piece of carrot just went mm -hmm. to my mouth. Very light and fluffy, crispy. Now this one is warm. Mm. Wow, it's nice. This penne is mm -hmm. a sweet tomato sauce. <laughs> that reminds me of like um, the little bit of uh, spaghetti napolitan they, yes. that they add to yes. um, uh, bentos bento. in Japan. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe that was the idea behind this. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to try my fish. I think that's fish. Looks very yummy. Yeah. Oh, mm. fish. Oh, that is good. Mm, fish. Nice. It's so fresh. The inside is so fluffy, not fish at all whatsoever. It's very crispy and light on the outside. It doesn't it doesn't feel oily. I just really like the 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 flavor of the fish. It's mm. very like your chicken, very clean tasting. This 
deep fried white fish is very popular in Japanese bento. Yes, it is. Go ahead, keep eating because I have a lot of ingredients to get through. So that is a deep fried fish cake or chikua. Mmm. Ooh. It's a curry flavor. That's a curry flavor fish cake. Mmm. Well, the batter is curry flavor. Mm -hmm. mm, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. And I can see some onori in mm -hmm. the batter. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try the rice with the nori and there's some soy sauce as well. I'm mm. gonna eat rice it's so too. Um, nostalgic. It takes me right back to my childhood days. And my mother used to make nori bento for me mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. This rice amount is perfect for me. It's not too big, not too small. It's just right mm. one meal. Yeah, well, this is like Japanese bento size, I think. But trust me, guys, for $7.99, I mean, this is a bargain. And even your plate, it was like $12.95. Right, twelve ninety five. That, that's a pretty good bargain, and you got lots of chicken on your plate. This chicken katsu bento, the chicken katsu bread brunch, is very nice. It's reasonable, tasty, and perfect amount. Mm -hmm. And the chicken katsu really is good. That's why I had to steal a piece from you. All right, guys. So we are on the way to the next place. We're walking through international marketplace this place is beautiful i remember when i was younger this place looked completely different mm -hmm, they did a mm -hmm. complete overhaul remodel mm -hmm. of the area do you remember the old yes, international yes, marketplace yes, the small shops many many shops, small shops are here right so now it's more like these uh, major shops they have some you know unique shops here as well but uh, what i like especially are the little pockets of uh uh, streams and gardens it's beautifully landscaped lots of places to sit down you guys know how much I love to chill and this is one of my favorite places to just sit down bask in the Sun and just relax all right guys we have one more place I want to introduce you to we have to finish with dessert we're at this place called Asato Family and they specialize in sherbets, homemade sherbets. Everything is made in-house with the freshest ingredients. This is a food truck located on Kalakawa Avenue. I guess you could say it's like at the entrance of Waikiki. Kind of like the entrance of Waikiki, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, we cannot wait to try them out. Today, they have seven flavors. We got strawberry, green liver, lichen fruit, and lemon peel gummy bear. Isn't it interesting? <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm so excited. This is the Li Hing float. Check it out. There are swirls of vanilla ice cream in here. And I can't wait to dig in. I'm going to eat right away because it is melting in this hot sun. Okay, once again, this is the Li Hing float. Itadakimasu. Oh, excuse me if I take a couple more bites here. Oh my god. Okay, it's like a perfect balance of sweet salty cold refreshing creamy mmm that is so good if you didn't know I really Hing is a powder it's a spice that people like to use here um, it's on uh, preserved fruits uh, they use it on pineapple this is strawberry sherper with the Li Hing flavor and a little bit of vanilla ice cream to add that creaminess this is a winner this one is a strawberry. This one is inspired by the Guri Guri in Maui. So ma Guri Guri is a popular sweet in Maui. So this one, its flavor is like that, I heard. Hmm, nice vivid red color. Mmm, oh, strawberry flavor is really good. And I like this texture. Yes, it's not ice cream and it's sherbet. I like this sherbet texture. It's very refreshing. Mm, mm, very comfortable for me. <laughs> I like guri guri. I, I tried to make guri guri at home, but I couldn't so nicely. This one, it's so good. Mm -hmm, mm. I don't even remember the last time I had Green River. I got to try this. You can see it's already melting, but it looks like slushy. So it looks just as good anyway. Oh, oh, just took me right back to my kid days, like when I was five or six. They replicated the old fashioned Green River soda, like to the tea. 
Oh, like I said, we had to get two more flavors. This is the lemon peel gummy bear. They actually make a lemon peel gummy bears here. So you can get that to go if you want. Anyway, this is the one in sherbet form. Looks so good. Itadakimasu. Wow. Wow, okay. Okay, that's surprisingly delicious. It's tart because it's lemon, but you also get the saltiness from the lemon peel because it's salted lemon peel and it's delicious. And you also taste a little bit of gummy bear as well. I wonder how they do that. I said a little specks of something in here. I wonder if that's the gummy bear. It's incredible how the whole thing tastes like gummy bear with lemon peel hmm, i wonder how they do that i actually just asked the owner and he said they actually melt down the lemon peel gummy bears to make these sherbets no wonder it tastes just like gummy bear with lemon peel this is incredible oh boy i feel so refreshed and happy right now after all that delicious sherbet from asato family they are open on the weekdays we left all the information of the places we visited on this video in the description so as you can see you can eat on a budget in waikiki everything doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg you know for example that nori bento i had was only 7.99 7.99 right I think um, breakfast, they have a breakfast bento for like a dollar cheaper. But anyway, super, super good bargains. A steak uh, bento was also like $12.99 for pretty good steak. And of course, to top it off, the amazing sherbet from Asato family. Anyway, check these places out next time you are visiting Waikiki. Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious video. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.